Today, I'm gonna be explaining the TikTok analytics tool and how to take advantage of this to make more viral content. This video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on TikTok, so make sure that you are subscribed because you do not wanna miss a upload. So let's get right into it. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a pro account for TikTok. That's the only way you can actually see your analytics. You have to first have a hundred followers to see your analytics. And if you just upgraded to the pro account, you have to wait about a week or so before you can actually see your analytics. Once we open the analytics, we have the overview tab that shows video views from a week to a month and it breaks them down by days. Then down from there, you have your follower count and that shows you a graph of how many followers you gain or lost. Then down from there, you have your actual profile views. This is how many people actually go to your profile. So as you can see right here, that's about 112 people coming to my profile, checking out my videos and, and hopefully clicking the link, going to my YouTube and my Instagram page. Now this page is fairly standard, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this tab. And then next is gonna be your trending videos for the last seven days. Now the thing about these videos is that the TikTok algorithm recognize these videos and the algorithm is gonna kind of get behind these videos and start to push these videos out. Now, as you can see this video right here, guess who I'm drawing has 1.1K views. Now this is a standout video. People seem to like this video. And this video is actually the idea that I gave in my other video. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out up there. But like I said before, this ain't nothing but a time-lapse video with a voiceover of me saying, hey, guess who I'm drawing? Comment below. So what this is telling me is that I need to make more videos like this one. So we can even click on this video and we can look at the stats. It has 56 likes, 10 comments, two hours of playtime, almost three hours. Then down from there, you have the traffic source. This tells you where people are actually seeing your video. 96% is coming from the For You page. Now the For You page on TikTok is kind of like the Explore page on Instagram. And then right down from there, we have 3% actually going to my profile and looking at my video. And then down from there, we have the audience territories. 99% of my followers are from the United States. And this is good to know also, because if you have uh, followers from different countries, then you can kind of tailor your content towards the culture of the actual country. Now the next video we're gonna look at, it has 677 views. It has 296 likes, 22 comments, four shares, a total play time of three hours, 15 minutes, a traffic source, once again, For You page is leading the way, which means the algorithm is pushing this video. And I will be doing a separate video on the process of editing those top two trending videos of mine. So you do not wanna miss that. So make sure that you are subscribed, hit that bell so you do not miss that video. And then we have the followers tab. As you can see, I have 226 followers. I gained 81 followers between September 2nd and the 9th. It has a lot to do with those two trending videos. And then we have the breakdown of my followers by gender. I have 91% come from the United States, 3% the UK. Then we have follower activity. This is gonna show you the times that your followers are online. You can go from hours to days. And this is gonna tell you what time you need to really be posting or what time you need to be posting your premiere content, the content that you know is is, is gonna hit. So right there, uh, for me, that'll be 6 p.m. And then you have your videos, your followers watch. Now, I think this is the most important thing in the analytic and the most different thing 
that I've seen so far in the analytics on social media as far as TikTok, it gives you the videos that your followers are liking. So all we have to do is actually click on that video, see what that video is about, see if we can recreate that video in my own style or your own style, because your followers are probably gonna like that video because they've already shown to like that video. And like I said, you can get a lot of content ideas just from watching what your followers like. And then down from there, we have the sounds your followers are listening to. This is important too, because on TikTok, sounds are kind of used like hashtag. They also can push your videos. We can click on these actual sounds and then we can see if listening to these sounds can manifest some type of idea in our head. I'm always coming up with different ideas just based on the music that I'm hearing. So this is a big, big advantage because we know what our followers are actually liking. So take advantage of this. If you are new to digital art, I compile all of what I learned about getting started in digital art to help you save time and money. This is a free guide that will be in the description down below. So make sure to pick that up. I hope you got some type of value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at you next time. Believe that.